Well, David, what do you think? Did, did the Oscars hit the sweet spot this year? You know, I thought it was really a lovely night for Hollywood. I understand that people want to see more crashing and burning, but if you look at sort of, uh, it was a fairly predictable event, at least for some people, Tony, I think. uh, Well, it went, I mean, it went pretty much the way most sensible people, which is excluding myself, um, thought it would go. I mean, there there were certainly no great surprises in, in any of the major categories. Yeah, and that doesn't mean it wasn't re- really kind of a deeply satisfying night. I mean, I, it was not a high-risk ri- evening. I, Ellen kind of kept it in the middle. But I think her willingness, uh, just speaking of the TV show for a moment, to go out into the audience, engage them, uh, stars, they're just like us, right? Mm-hmm. They they eat pizza, they they take selfies, they tweet <laughs> right, them out, right, right. and that 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 took Hollywood, which is these gro- gossamer creatures that are always floating around, sort of brought it back down to earth. Well, it made it, it it gave it a nice democratic feel. I mean, it can feel very stuffy and very stiff and and very self important a lot of the time, and and that is completely not what Ellen does, and she managed to bring her friendly, inclusive, you know, fun, friendly, democratic vibe to the show. And I think that that worked. I think that worked really well. And, 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 and but still managed to get edgy in one single moment in yes. her open. She said, she said, tonight can go two ways. Right. One is that uh, 12 Years a Slave will win the best picture. Right. Or, or, or B, that you're all racist. Well, and it's amazing to think if if the last category, if the best picture had gone another way, what the sort of the the pall hanging over the evening would have been. But you know, she put down that marker, and and the Academy came through. And and as 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 you said, I think you put it very well. It embraced the possibilities of this of this historical moment, um, giving it the top award to this movie about a very painful historical experience directed um, by a black man about a black man um, and and a movie that is that that that's very demanding that's very challenging um, there were rumors you know flying around that it wasn't going to win because too many voters weren't even going to bother to see it um, but I think they 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 did see it and they did see it for what it was which was a, which was an extraordinary picture for people who are into um, a sort of Oscarology, the night developed where gravity was gaining momentum over and over through a series of, of technical awards. Um, meanwhile, American Hustle got completely stiffed. Nothing. Yeah. Wolf of Wall Street, completely stiff. So no interest in in, in capitalism either. American the, capitalism. Yeah, it's, it's no. Not a topic that somehow these people want to deal with. No, and and so. It, it seemed like cra- gravity was really rolling along, up to and including Alfonso Cuaron yeah. and his amazing, beautiful uh, speech, which was followed by Matthew McConaughey. Yes, a man who is uh, apparently his own his own hero. Yeah, I think when Bette Midler was singing earlier in the evening, she was anticipating a bit the, the Ma- wind. I just want you to know, you you're my hero. You ten years from now. You'll be my hero. Yeah, and and ten years from now, you'll be the wind beneath your own wings. Well, ten uh, years from now, maybe I'll 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 you know get some Oscar picks right. But I think part of what happens, and aside. I give your Mr. McConaughey enormous credit for taking uh, uh, control of his career and making some really affirmative, great, great choices. I'm deeply impressed. I wish he wasn't quite as impressed by it <laughs> as, as as he seems to be. Tony, it was a night when most controversies were kept a little bit off stage, including, you know, Kate Blanchett won for Blue Jasmine, which was, I think, a stellar performance, but as we all know, directed by Woody Allen, who was the subject of a certain amount of coverage this year. Yeah, well, there was an interesting one, because the first part of her speech, she mentioned a lot of other people. Mm-hmm. Um, including all of the other Best Actress nominees. And then there was a slight, they do it. slight pause, a slight sort of intake of breath before she said um, Woody's name. And, and it was like, okay, here I go. I'm going to do it. I've got to do it. He did, after all, write and direct the picture, create the part um, for her. And, then, and, and I think she, she got through it with her own poise and and Yeah, if you're going to have somebody difficult... Classiness. I deliver a difficult scene, you might want yes, Kate Blanchett. Yes, because yes, she's chair. just so she's so magnetic. 
Well, so the, the night was somewhat predictable. Uh, a lot of people are going to be happy when they look at their, their balance. You know what? That doesn't mean it wasn't a good night. Well, it was very satisfying. I mean, it, you know, it was too long. It's always too long, but it was... Hard it was to a, make an interesting television show that's three and a half hours long. Yeah, but these, these, these were the movies that, that were, you know, um, that a lot of people thought deserved to win. Um, and, and the, uh, you know, the, the, the love was pretty well, well spread. Good host in the audience, yeah. audience full of stars, serve some pizza, mm -hmm. spread the love around, yeah. rewarded Gravity, which is a movie that made a lot of money and sort of advanced uh, uh, Hollywood's interest in a way forward. In having people go to the movies. Right. Yeah. But in the end, came up with uh, celebrating a movie in 12 Years a Slave that even a critic could love. Go figure.